where I'm going to show you how to find the IP address. So there's a file called whatismylocalip.bat. You want to run this on the master computer to find the IP address. So I come over to my master computer, which is my computer, and go to tools. And now we'll see what is my local IP.bat. We run that, and under my IPv4 connections, we see IP address. And it says, look under IPv4 ad address for your IP. It should look like this, 192.168.1. number, number, number. Four sets of numbers. It can be different. But now I know my IP address is 192.168.1.120. So I can go back to the file server here, and I know my IP address now. So I can press any key. Now that I know the IP address, I have to tell the script where to look for my computer. So you want to go to start, like it says, and you want to open up your C drive, and there's a folder there that got, that got created during the install. You double click into it, and you want to go to core files. And now you'll see top right waffle, vrad, vmpi, and vvis.vmpi. You want to right click and hit edit on both of these. If you double click it, it'll cause an error because it tries to run it. So now, under where it says put IP address here, you just want to put your IP address. And leave the port alone unless you're smart enough to know how to change it with all the commands. Just put it there in both of them. And then you want to keep both of them open. I accidentally closed one. So now, you want to go back to the script and press spacebar. Now the master computer. This is for the master only. It needs access through your firewall. So either give it access through your firewall or you can't compile through the internet. You only need that for, for the internet compile. Now, where is Steam installed to? If you do this wrong, it'll result in spamming windows, which is very bad. I'll show you what that looks like right now. It just does this constantly. If this happens, hit the pause or break key on your keyboard and X everything out. And then you need to go to the core files and open it up. So we need to locate where Steam's installed to. My Steam is installed to E. So where it says C dot dot, we want to change that to an E in both of these, save it, and then close the text file. So now you press Okay, it says, please note, if you messed up step three, it'll do that error like I just showed you. And now, if you want to uninstall, there's an uninstaller in C, top at thw.vmpi. Here's all my contact info in case you need help with this. And if you want to run this setup again, it's in top at waffle slash vmpi slash first time dot bat. So, you press any key to continue. It says, thanks. Run the vmpi scripts now. You can X this out to decline it, and they'll run on startup. If you press any key, it'll load the scripts. So I'm just going to press any key, and it's running the VMPI files. And then in a second, it'll load up the starter. And then once everything works, you will have four windows. Two of them are watchdog scripts. What a watchdog is, all it does is it watches to see the other two. In case one were to close or crash, say if I were to end task one of, or to end process one of them, if I just end task, it noticed that I closed it and then asked me if I want to stop it. If I click no, tell it no, it'll restart it. So you'll notice that the two are just they're checking the IP address constantly. About two every two seconds, so you're sending a ping to that computer to make sure that it's compiling or if it's not. And if it is, it will help the compile process. And this goes really quick. So I'm going to minimize this now that that's set up. And I go to Valve Batch Compiler Tool. And I'll go into hyperspeed here. I'm going to run a full compile. And then I'm going to run a full compile again with VMPI. And then you can see the two times. So I'm going to compile this. Waffles. Belgian or potato waffles. Look in front of you now. Belgian and potato, all kinds taste great, oh yes they do, cause they are waffles, invented by Gandhi, why not keep
Acceptable handy for moments when you need waffles. Waffle, 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 waffles. Waffle, waffle. Okay, so now the compile's done. It took a minute and 23 seconds. Now that's not that long, but the map that I compiled really isn't that big. So, now if I check vviz in vred under vmpi, it's now going to tell the compile tool to use the vviz in vred. Now, I'm remoted into the ser my server still, so I can show you what these windows will look like when the computer's compiling. The vviz one is on top here, because vviz gets used before vred. So, let's see what this looks like. I'm going to do the exact same compile, and you can compare the times then. So you click full, it'll run through the VBSP, and now it's going to compile. You'll notice that windows will flash on your computer. This is the current progress of the map being compiled. Inside the server, my computer just sent all the required files to the server it needs to compile. And now it's running through all of the map that it's rendering. Every dot that's the dark green has been rendered. Every dot that is light green is rendered by my computer, the, or the master. Every dot that is blue has been sent off to a worker computer. Now, it doesn't seem like a worker computer is getting that much information, but it really is. It's getting quite a bit. And then after it's done packaging up the map, And now it's done with the compile. It took a minute. It took under a minute. It took 56 seconds. Compared to the minute 23 that it took before, blew past it. Now on the graph that I have, which I'll show you guys, I used two computers to compile it, three quad core systems. My computer, my brother's computer, and our server. And our server. Each computer has approximately a 3.2 gigahertz core on each core. So that's 12 3.2 gigahertz computers. It's really fast. And in the chart here, which I will put over in the sidebar so everyone can see it, the final compile with HDR, which is the best for release, took 261 seconds. Where the same compile without VMPI took 10 minutes. So having VMPI enabled really can cut down your compile times. And if you're making a map with friends, or you just want your map to compile, just say, hey, leave the script running on your computer. Help me compile really, really fast. So, I hope this tutorial has helped you learn how to compile your maps faster and better. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Waffles. Belgian or potato waffles. Look in front of you now. Do you have a waffle? Wouldn't you be happier if you did? I'm talking waffles. Belgian and potato, all kinds taste great, oh yes they do, cause they are waffles, invented by Gandhi, why not keep several handy for moments when you need waffles, waffle 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 waffles, waffle 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 waffles, 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 I'm talking waffles, Belgian or potato waffles, look in front of you now, do you have a waffle? Wouldn't you be happier if you did? I'm talking waffles. Belgian and potato, all kinds taste great, oh yes they do, cause they are waffles. Invented by Gandhi, why not keep several handy for moments when you need waffles? Waffle, 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 waffles. Waffle, 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 waffles. Waffles, waffles, waffles. I'm talking waffles. Belgian or potato waffles. Look in front of you now. Do you have a waffle? Wouldn't you be happier if you did? I'm talking waffles. Belgian and potato, all kinds taste great, oh yes they do, cause they are waffles. Invented by Gandhi, why not keep several handy for moments when you need waffles?